everybody is Felisa and um, it is nighttime <laughs> or it's the evening and I am just leaving work and a sister is tired but I wanted to stay committed with my vlog so here we are anyway so um, at the end of November I decided that I was going to do take a little break from social media um, decided that I wasn't going to post uh, any content on my social media pages um, for personal, I would you know continue to upload and all that kind of stuff for my business pages, um, and of course for YouTube. But you know, posting and engaging in frivolous conversation, I decided you know I needed to do a moratorium on that because it was just sucking me of all of my energy and it just was not putting me in a good headspace. So I um, I log in the other day, or day, yesterday I want to say, and you know this question went across my my feed and it was so interesting because I had just had this conversation with my friend uh, a couple of days ago in this exact situation because I wanted to hear from him if he thought like if it was weird or you know, if it was inappropriate etc etc so anyway the, the the query in question was um some radio show that uh, a little girl called into, and I don't know if this is true or not, but you know, it was people in the comments who were swearing them down that they heard this broadcast, but you really can't put a lot of faith in that because these are the same people who swear that they heard Tommy Hilfiger on Oprah saying that he don't make clothes for black people. Yeah, that's not a thing, y'all. That's, that's not a thing. Anyway, so the, 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 the post was kind of like, you know, this little girl um, one of this like radio stations help in contacting her mother's ex-boyfriend because she thought that you know he was a really good dude and um, you know of course as kids do you know it's Christmas, it's Christmas, it's Christmas presents but she really just wanted to um, to get in touch with him because you know I guess she missed him and I don't know the full context and then there was something about the mother was getting ready to go to jail I have no idea what that's about like that was just thrown in for good measure and just put me all off I'm like what like what was anyway I still don't understand what that connection is um if she wanted him to come get her and she did with him anyway apparently the man's response was basically you know that um he had moved on and he had a new woman and you know it was it was her mother's fault that they weren't together because she left him and you know he didn't want anything to do with her and so the question was more was he right or was he wrong and so you know I was just taken aback by so many people who were just he was right he don't owe her nothing and the mama probably put her up to it and you know, yeah you I mean you know, she I can't even recall all of the insanities I saw. Like, it just made me so upset. It made me upset when I read it. It made me upset this morning when I first tried to do this stupid vlog. And um, it's making me upset now. So this is my thought on the matter. Listen, if you have the audacity, the sheer unmitigated gall, the balls enough to date a single parent, and you are male or female, I don't even care about gender right now, you decided you want to date someone who has children, and then you go beyond the confines of that relationship and you develop a relationship with those kids. When that relationship is over, you should not automatically feel the need to sever the relationship with the children. Unless there was something malicious or ominous going on, whatever. If you had a relationship with those kids during the relationship, you should continue to have a relationship with those kids after the relationship. Now, it doesn't have to be a, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, we go out all the time, blah, blah, blah. But if you weren't engaged, then you should continue to be engaged. Now, otherwise, don't date single parents. Only date single people. Only date people who have no kids and no attachments. You know why? Because children develop relationships and they develop attachments. And it's so unfair, it's petty, it's unreasonable, and it's selfish for you to develop a relationship with a child be involved in that capacity with that kid's life and then all of a sudden because you don't want to be with their mother or you don't want to be with their father you cut you cut the kid off and pretend like they don't exist like who raised y'all like like why would you even do that that's not even that's so inappropriate and you know one of the things i was saying is that um you know my ex who you know i've talked about in this vlog i won't go into it now but you know my ex and i don't speak we don't speak. 
I still keep in touch with his son. You know why? Because I love that young man. I'm concerned about him. I want him to do well. He's away at school. I see nothing wrong with getting a few bags of potato chips soda from home and putting them in a box and sending them to sending it to him and saying hey you know I'm just thinking about you here's something from home you know go get them I see nothing wrong with sending him a little token for his birthday or for Christmas I see nothing wrong with dropping him a text every you know blue moon to say you know hey son I love you I'm just thinking about you I hope all is well I'm not trying to keep in touch with him on a day-to-day -day basis I don't feel the need to, you know, to mom him, but I do feel the need to say that I'm part of his village, you know, in an extended, uh, an extended fashion, of course, but I am part of his village. If that young man needs me ever in life, I will be there for him. I think that that's so important. And for me to tell him or to act like I don't know him or that I have no regard for who he is or, you know, what he might need simply because his father decided he didn't want to be with me and I'm being petty. Like, again, who ran? I have no words. I have zero words for people who do that. I really don't. And you know, there were some people who were coming, you know, yeah, the mama probably put her up to it. The mama, you know, trying to do this, that, and the third. Not even have somebody respond to me like, you should, you know, you probably trying to get with his daddy. Listen, <laughs> listen, let me tell y'all this. Like, I'm not saying that there aren't people who aren't, who are, who aren't above using kids as pawns and using kids as leverage. But let me tell y'all something. Children are not toys. They, they should not run intermediate in, uh, interference between adults. You don't put children in the middle of grown people thing. I don't even care if the children are adults. You don't put offspring in the middle of grown people mess. You leave them out of it. And if you're putting children in the middle of your mess and you give, you're assigning jobs to kids, like, you know, yeah, I'm gonna use this kid to get back with a mom or a dad, like, Seek help. Get you some medication. Get you some deep, deep intensive therapy. You know, just work all of that out because that's ridiculous. You don't play with people's emotions like that. You don't play with their feelings like that. And if you've cultivated a relationship with these kids and now all of a sudden all you see them as is leverage in order to get back at somebody that you once claimed to love, like you got something wrong with you. Furthermore, y'all really severely underestimate children and with their capacity to put two and 12 together and come up with four. Like they come up with all kinds of stuff that don't make no kind of sense. And they get real creative all the time. Children have a way of expressing themselves. The reason that adults don't believe that kids can and will come up with stuff like this and express themselves is because they don't listen to kids. They don't listen to children when they express what they feel or you know what it is that they want. They dismiss them and tell them what, that they're kids. As if they come in children's size emotions like their hurt and pain and grief is childlike and therefore can't be on the same scale. No, children who are involved in relationships um, when, or in, involved with the, uh, the, the significant other in a relationship experience that breakup just like that adult does and oftentimes interprets, interprets it and internalizes it as if it's a divorce. Your heart doesn't know the difference between, oh, mommy and such and such just broke up or mommy and daddy got a divorce because even if that person is not biologically tied to you you still have certain feelings for them and still have certain interactions and you miss that person like just point blank period y'all stop dismissing these kids and stop acting like these children don't have uh feelings and don't have affection now i'm not saying that this young man believes that i'm i'm the second thing to his mother or you know that i'm greater than his mother or his father by any stretch of the imagination i'm pretty sure that if i went away he would be fine my conscience would not allow me to do that now if he ever said to me you know what he miss miss felisa ma whatever if he ever said to me you know what it's real weird that you you know keep in touch with me i'm good you know thank you for everything that you've done oh, whatever the case may be i'll be like you know what okay son you know i wish you well and i would leave him alone I really would. I just think that for right now, if he's not uncomfortable, if he's appreciative of the things that I'm doing for him, that's all that matters. And it has nothing to do with trying to reconcile with someone or trying to use my, or get brought. All of that kind of stuff is so petty and so immature. And I really wish that people would elevate their thinking and vibrate higher and start projecting negativity onto other people. Sometimes people just don't have ulterior motives. They really don't. All they want to do is see you win. 
And my thing is, the more people that care about my kids and the more people that invest in them and love them and nurture them, when I can't, the better. Why would I cut that off? Why would I tell somebody, oh, you can't have a relationship with my kids if you can't have a relationship with me? That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. And here's the other thing. Adults need to go to adults. If I really wanted to reconcile with his father or have a conversation with his father, listen, I know where he lives. I know where he works. I know his phone number. I don't need to use the child to run interference for me to do that. And if y'all trying to do that, like I said before, y'all really need to grow up and stop that mess. Just stop it. That's ridiculous. And y'all giving the rest of us a bad name. I'm a mother, period. I'm a mother who has produced children from my, my womb biologically. And I am a mother who has produced children just because I love them and I care for them. And I want to see the best for them and I want them to win. Point blank, period. Y'all really need to get y'all dating mess together. And stop being so high schoolish in your endeavors and your approaches with these people. And just leave people with kids alone. Don't do that. That's so messy. That's so messy. Just so unnecessary. I see. I'm so upset. I really, really am. Like, seriously. That, don't do that. Fortunately for me, my children are grown. I can take who I want to without penalty. And they don't really care because they're not invested like that. That's one of the reasons why I was so fearful to date when they were little. And so fearful to really introduce them to anyone because of mess like this. Because I know how quickly kids get attached. And then all of a sudden, you got to pry them away from somebody that they consider a role model. Not necessarily a father, but a role model, somebody that's there that actually loves them. And they're there one day and gone the next. Who does that? Y'all just dirty. Just, just dirty. Okay. Anyway, that's enough of my vent. I'm Felisa. Leave your commentary below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic. No judgment might be a little bit of shame but no judgment um and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can know when i upload new content and please subscribe and share this video